What is going on YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. Random, and 2005 called, they want their 5XL shirt back. And today, I'm gonna make the argument why a Crown Victoria P71 is actually a better choice than a Mercury Marauder. You know what, just right off the bat, guys, we're gonna start with the most, the most important reason. Give me a second. And that actually is one of the biggest reasons, and that is engine reliability. Now to actually help you guys visualize this point, I decided to bring out my 1998 Lincoln Mark 8. You see the engine in this old 1998 Lincoln is actually roughly 95% what you'll find in a Mercury Marauder. Okay, the first thing we're gonna start off with is the valve cover design between a two valve engine and a four valve engine that can actually be found in the Marauder. As you guys can see, this is the valve cover in your two valve Crown Vic. You notice the coil packs are placed right alongside the intake manifold. But if we make our way over to the Mark 8, you'll notice that the coil packs are actually built in to the valve cover itself. This setup, when it fails, it actually allows for a crap ton of oil to actually start leaking into your spark plugs, causing terrible engine misfires. Not only that, they're actually more prone. These are, it's almost it's so rare. It's like witnessing a supernova. Unlike these engines right here, they're super prone to blowing head gaskets, and worst of all, they're actually prone to blowing pistons. Unlike a Crown Victoria P71, that's just getting to its peak. It's just being broken in at 150,000 miles. The Marauder engine, on the other hand, is a ticking time bomb at the same amount of mileage. Next thing we're gonna talk about is the Marauder's price, which actually usually ranges between five on the lower end to eight thousand dollars for an actual good example one man with a price point of eight thousand dollars hell you could get a crown victoria about maybe five times cheaper than that and not only that you can actually about an extra five thousand dollars left over to do something like this for example take this 2004 mustang gt now it might not look like it at first glance but it actually has a 2007 Crown Vic engine in it. It's got ported and polished heads, board pistons, cams, headers, exhaust, and a tune. And it's currently making about 350 horsepower, all for under $4,000. <laughs> you heard me right. 350 HP on a naturally aspirated two-valve. That's 150 more horses than a stock Marauder, which will still be cheaper and more reliable in the long run. Not to mention parts for Marauders are expensive and harder to find. Hell, just one headlight can run you 200 bucks. Just one headlight. Let's talk about, just for a minute, just pretend this is a Mercury Marauder. I'm pretty sure you guys have figured that by this point, it being pretty much the same engine. But anyways, let's talk about stock speed right off the factory what you might expect a marauder is only 1.5 seconds faster to 60 than a crown victoria how, how much is exactly 1.5 seconds you guys ready for it there 1.5 in case you guys missed it in case you guys missed it here's 1.5 second difference again here we go there 1.5 actually i stopped it at 1.6 that that one done is the difference between 60 between a marauder and a Crown Victoria. $2,000, $8,000. You guys starting to see what I'm talking about here? If I'm gonna be honest with you guys, quite frankly, the only thing I actually like about a Marauder is uh, it's right behind me, check it out. You guys are looking at it, literally, just the front end, which can actually be replicated quite easily like I did with my uh, 2006 P71 that you guys are looking at right here. Now, part of the reason why I decided to make this video is because there seems to be some kind of elitism between Mercury Marauder owners and the rest of us normie Panther body owners out there. If you want to get technical, at the end of the day, it's just a Crown Victoria LX Sport with a fancy Cobra front bumper and an engine that's prone to blowing. 
Guys, for less than $8,000, you can have one hell of a reliable Panther car and throw a Marauder front bumper in there for shits and giggles. And I call that a win any day of the week. And that is where I'm gonna leave the video today, guys. I'm not trying to hate on anybody in particular, but seeing recently all these people complaining about the outrageous Mercury Marauder price points and just the way that they talk about these cars, man. I just wanted to clarify a couple of things. There's nothing to be ashamed about. You guys have nothing to be ashamed about owning a P71. Actually, Marauder owners have this car right here to thank for their Marauder. Anyways, it's your boy, Mr. Random. I'll catch you guys on the next Crown Victoria modification videos, man. Lean with it. Lean with it.